So you have now a, 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 a war that is in many ways an unbalanced and unfair war, if you will. There's absolute air superiority, which is very expensive to maintain. You have American and British uh, uh, technicians who are keeping and maintaining these planes, maybe even flying these planes, dropping ordinances, killing people left and right in northern Yemen. But on, on top of all this, you have uh, uh, on, the, on the ground, actually, this, it's going back and forth. There are periods in which Ansar Allah are actually able to pool resources together to actually defeat this international coalition led and directed by the United States and the UK. And it's a remarkable story of the power of indigenous peoples who can organize, um, even though there's a almost airtight embargo on northern Yemen. Uh, no food doesn't go through, uh, no food or fuel can come through this embargo without it going through a process of screening. Uh, yet these northern Yemenis are on their own. They're not getting weapons from Iran, as often accused. There is, it's, it's very difficult for them to get weapons other than somehow getting it from capturing weapons that often flow to uh, these coalition forces. The coalition forces are not very effective. They have no wish to fight these very determined men um, uh, coming from, uh, from northern Yemen. And uh, as of last year, late last year, what's crucial about this war is, again, the, uh, the natural resources that could be plundered if there was the right, were the right conditions. Now, those are being threatened since as of late last year. This area called Marib and Shabwa, which are on, had long been the front lines, but had always been in the areas controlled by one of the three countries' assets, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, or UAE. They have now been under threat with direct military action from this Ansar Allah. And that has changed the dynamic considerably along with the fact that with the Biden administration, you now have Qatar ascending again to being the primary asset for the United States to initiate through their Muslim Brotherhood assets in Syria, uh, in Lebanon, as well as in Southern Arabia, to maybe change the dynamics of this war, which is just dragging on. It has in, uh, just, um, killed hundreds of thousands of Yemenis, tens of... Uh, Tens of thousands have starved to death or from disease. Uh, it, it's reported that millions are under threat of starvation. Uh, starvation and food has been uh, always been a tool of empire for the last 250 years, 300 years. It's certainly uh, being used as a weapon in uh, northern Yemen to try to force people to surrender. Uh, and uh, up till now, they have not been able to induce this kind of instability in the north to actually force an end of the war on american terms and that of course implies that yemen would have to subscribe to being integrated into the global economy that would benefit first and foremost empire representatives of empire not the people on the ground and so is this sustainable it is not for the three regimes competing with each other who represent and who make up this so-called coalition and I've predicted that um, at some point in time, you're going to see one of these three governments collapse, maybe even seeing a break apart of maybe Saudi Arabia, which has already been a, a, um, deemed a, a long-term um, unsustainable failure because its own oil assets are drying up. It, uh, it tries to create this uh, buzz of interest in the larger world, trying to get people to come and invest uh, in, a, in a larger global uh, economic context where there is no liquidity anymore. Even the United States and Britain have a hard time borrowing money at, at relatively, uh, let's say, reasonable rates, let alone what is going now with this whole Ukraine-Russia uh, issue. Uh, these regimes are in big trouble. They have been in trouble already before the war started. They imagined that the war would actually provide them the kind of uh, resources that would allow them to survive another generation. This has proven to be um, actually not the case because of Yemen's stubborn resistance.